Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Blades and Bait. You know, <clears throat> last week I did a video where I showed you some uh, good value $20 knives that you can use for work. Well, just got a real quick update with them. Uh, the, this one is the one I purchased. I just purchased this and I have been using this. I have been carrying it for the past week or so. And so far, I am impressed. This one is your uh, Gunzo Firebird. And this one cost me $20. Uh, it is almost identical to your Spyderco Delica, but you're not going to pay the, as much, or nearly as much. I've been using this. I've been using this to uh, break down boxes. I've been using this. I even took it uh, the other day to Lake Erie to clean some fish. Uh, make some cut bait and yeah so far feels like it still have a real good edge on it uh, there's no blade play whatsoever I am impressed this is my first gonzo knife and tell you one thing after this one I wouldn't mind checking out some others that that's available and uh, the nice thing about uh, the gonzo knife is that for most of them you can find them as little as twenty dollars and up to 30 I think I have no issues whatsoever with it in fact I haven't sharpened it or anything else to it see on how well this cuts <laughs> there it is folks. the gonzo knife very good value knife especially for only $20 and the other one that I purchased was this little guy right here this one is your K-Bar Dozer Small. They do have a full si uh, size one where it's almost about 7 inches I believe. It does come in several different colors. It does come with uh, your blue, uh, your red, brown, and of course a zombie green. Reason why I picked out zombie green? Well, frankly, this was the cheapest one. I got this for only about $15. This is the K-Bar Dozer small. I have used this and also I let my uh, neighbors use it uh, when he was working on his car. So far there's no blade play, there's no wobble, it still feels very tight. Smooth action and again I haven't touched up on it, I haven't sharpened it or anything else. Let's see. Well, it is getting a little bit dull, but otherwise, it's still a pretty good knife, especially for only fifteen dollars. Of course, that's just a real quick update on uh, the knives. Uh, so far, I am impressed, especially for only twenty dollars, around that twenty-dollar mark. But that's not where uh, we're going to be talking about today. Today, I picked up something new. Uh, this particular model has been around for a few years now. I think it came out uh, anywhere around 2016 or 2015, I'm not sure, uh, which is this one right here. This is the Buck Spitfire Mini. And at the time, I did not want to uh, pick it up. I did not want to pay anywhere from $40 to $50 for a knife that have only a 420 uh, steel on it and so uh, it's not until I found this one this one I picked it up I ordered it last week cost me $65 $65 I thought you said it's 40 or $50 yeah but that's 420 steel this one actually have s 30 V steel <laughs> when you think of a buck knife you think of something like this this one is your buck Bantown. I purchased this one many years ago I probably purchased it over five or six years ago and uh, this has been used as a workhorse in fact I have used this for everything overall when uh, you think of a buck knife you don't really think of uh, something that's aesthetically pleasing in fact, I have this in my toolbox and it's not going to be in any of my collection. But, yeah, this is what most people think of a buck knife. It's just 
uh, basically just a no nonsense functional work knife. And this one I did pick it up years ago. I did pick it up for about uh, $18. It was on sale at Walmart. And the original price on it, it was about $24. But that's not what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about this is the Buck Spitfire Mini. And um, yeah, this one didn't came with a box or anything else. I didn't care. This was, uh, apparently, this was a store display. Overall, uh, I do like it. In fact, I like the style and the way it looks many years ago when it did came out. I think it, this particular model came out around 2015 or so. I could be wrong. But, of course, at the time, uh, the only steel type they had was your 428C, which... It's a good budget steel, but, but I did not want to pay 40 or $50 when, for that price, I can uh, get a much higher quality steel than your 420 I picked this up for $65, and uh, the main reason why it's $65, it's, as you can see, it's one of the few that actually have your S30V on it. Typically, this knife retails for about 70 to 80 dollars i like the shape of this blade it looks very slicey nice hollowed ground right there little swedge on top have this uh slight jimping where you can just choke up on it in fact there's this a little sharpening choil right here but considering that it does have this smooth handle and it doesn't have much texture I figure this is more for a medium use than a hard use knife. Still, still I still like the way it looks. Uh, it comes with this blue and a dice aluminum handles. Comes with this uh, reversible uh, pocket clip right here, which feels very tight. And that's the other thing that I do like about back locks. Back locks are uh, ambidextrous. It doesn't matter whether you're using it with your right hand. Still a little stiff, of course, or your left. It does give you a much stronger lockup. It feels solid in your hands, and uh, that's why, personally, especially for a work knife, I prefer the lockback knife. Extremely light, too. I am kind of curious on what the weight is for this guy right here. Less than two ounces, folks. Only 1.9 ounce. And this one is a little bit smaller than your Bantam. But personally, this is the size that I uh, like, especially for EDC. I like uh, my knives to be anywhere from 6 inches up to 7 yes. inches. Uh, and I know, uh, like most of you, I have a lot of stuff in my pocket. And I have my keys in my front pocket where I usually keep my pocket knife as well. So the last thing I want is uh, some big, bulky, heavy knife that will take up pocket space. Plus, the nice thing about this size, in fact, let's see on how big this is. Looks like it's only six and a quarter inches. Cutting edge just looks like uh, two and three quarters inches. Typically, this is the size that I will carry because most states anyway you're allowed to have and carry a knife with a blade that's under three inches long i am kind of curious i haven't actually tested the edge on this yet look at that folks like butter <laughs> zero resistance whatsoever folks look at that i do like it and I think this will make a very good, lightweight, compact EDC knife. I do look forward to using this. Yep, that is the Buck Spitfire Mini. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please smash that like and consider subscribing for some more knives, fishing, and kits videos. You guys take care. I'll talk to you later.